Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We are slightly underweight. Uh, we have a bunch of coal, which is good, because we're going after a bear. Uh, clothing's not bad. Lots of meat. Uh, can we actually eat this one? Almost. <laughs> Uh, the bow is getting low, but whatever. It's okay. Um, lots of arrows. And there we go. Uh, we are day 102. And here's our skills. There we go. And we are... Kind of early morning-ish, I guess. And yes, it looks nice. Um, we're gonna grab sticks along the way. We have 29 cattails, alright. Uh, let's grab some of these. Really? Oh, there's two of them. Oh boy. There you go. Two of them. We do have scent. We have two bars of scent. Um, just kind of have a look around. Down here. See if there's anything for us. There's mushrooms over there. Let's grab those. We need something for a warm drink, so... We don't have anything. I wouldn't mind... Uh, oh, there's three. I'm just thinking to myself... Should we make a fire warm up one of these teas? And then go. Gotta warm up somehow. Um, before we do that, though, I would like to actually have two that I can craft. And I don't really know where the rose hips and the reishi are in this area. I don't think I usually care too much about them. Uh, we got most of our health. So, cold in my life. so that's not a problem. And let's be honest, running around here with scent is probably not a bad idea. The more we do it, the less chance we have of encountering a wolf in that cave. Let's do that. Well, I don't know that there's actually any more. Not close by. Oh, hey, there's some burdock. Burdock. Let's take both of these. I'm already considering maybe just taking the one. <laughs> that takes way too long. Ooh. The Enduring Waterfall. Alright, let's go. Oh, we got more ratio over here. Perfect. And it's another set of three. That's even better. Yep, Burdick. <laughs> Alright, let's get inside. I was just thinking to myself this morning, I was like, you know what? I really, 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 really like this perk where not only do you get to read the books quicker, 
but you no longer worry about cabin fever. I know I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. I'll probably continue to say it because we went through that whole mine and didn't have to worry once. The thought never crossed my mind. The bunny. I'm going to check out the, uh, the wolves. All right, we'll just go make a fire in here. For, we'll craft everything first, and then we'll make a fire. Just, uh, just a, a, a short fire. Uh, let's do both of them. You don't like the cabin fever thing? I, I, I don't dislike it, right? I don't hate it. Um, I like because I'm streaming and then putting videos on YouTube. I refuse to ever actually get rid of it. And, well, aside from this way, but um, I kind of like that it 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 does keep you kind of on the move. It, obviously, at times it can be a royal pain in the butt, but. I, I don't dislike the the idea of it. I know there's varying. Uh, let's not use coal. Uh, varying different opinions on it, but that's my opinion. All right, we are warm. Uh, do we have enough room? Yes, we do. And we'll just drink one. What's the temperature? It feels like minus 12. I would like it to be a little bit warmer, but... I would also like that bear to just approach right when we get up that little climb so I can shoot him and jump right back down. But I'm not always going to get what I want. I know, right? Like we all we all have experienced being locked into our houses because of what happened a few years ago and we didn't get it. I think in real life you would have I mean it's, it's it also depends like if you completely shut yourself out from from communicating with others like in a wilderness it's a little different in our houses I think because we have all kinds of things we can do but I think if you were just away from society it's just you nobody else it might be a different situation. I don't anticipate a wolf in here. They usually come from where I am, so I don't think they just hang out in here. But I'm going to pull this out just in case. I'm kind of wondering if, you know, because we do have two bars of scent and we were wandering around out there, if possibly that bear is already on his way this way. Is that a good shot? I don't know if it is. Might be, might not be. pull that out so that when we climb I believe it'll once we're at the top it'll pull the bow back out might be ever so slightly quicker just in case the bear or maybe a couple of wolves could be up here too now we do need some of these I 
There we go. Alright, there's nobody around. Or so I thought. I thought I just heard something. It wasn't me shivering. Take that. <laughs> yeah. You shut the internet down for 24 hours and... You find out who's got it and who doesn't. <laughs> I don't need the deer. Oh, we might get some birch bark up here. Look at all them saplings. Got more mushrooms. Uh, okay, there's two, so I'll take them. If there was three, I was going to leave them. Oh, there's a couple of birch barks. There is a bunch. I think we got five. I'm okay with that. I wasn't actually expecting to get any, so. Alright, let's go up here. I know, every time I'm out here, I say, hey, I wonder what's out here. And there's nothing, usually. But I'm gonna go check. Because... Yeah, we got five birch bark. What if there's one piece? All of a sudden, my day gets made, right? We had, uh, I don't know, I don't remember if it was last year or if it was the year before. We had an issue out here where, uh, the debit machine stopped working. And, oh boy. It doesn't matter how much money is in your account, if none of it's in your pocket, just a piece of plastic. And the machines that operate to take that plastic are not in operation. Oh man, you're instantly poor. There was... And it was out for several hours. I don't remember exactly how many hours, but... Um... It was, we had gone out to the mall just to go for a walk and always have a coffee with us when we do it. And you could not, you could, not only was it yourself, but you could see it in other people. I'm freezing. Some of them are giving it to the employees and you're like, it's not the employee's fault. This is not them. They didn't do it. They ain't got no money right now either. And everybody is losing sales because of this. But yeah, you can go nuts. That's how quick it can go. I kind of wonder if you've ever seen like rich people, right? Like well off, money's no problem. You ever see those people? They usually have a wad of cash in their pocket. And back, I used to think they did that just because, you know? But now I think they understood. Like if there's any reason I can't use these pieces of plastic, I still have cash.
Is this gas? Looks kind of yellow right there. Apparently it's not. But yeah, it kind of looked like a little bit of a yellow cloud right there. Um, just in case, let's make sure this baby's loaded. Uh, I should probably stop and heat up a tea. Uh, where's a good spot? Over here, maybe? Oh boy, can I get up here? Okay, I'm not going in there. <laughs> I have memories of that other time where I went into a spot like that and I couldn't get out. I think it was Sundered Pass that that happened in. Did I just see the bear? No, I didn't. I saw a rock. Uh, I think I'm being way too picky, but I'm just kind of looking for a spot where... I feel safe. It would be just way too cool if I could get a fire to go up here. I don't even care where it goes as long as it goes. This is so perfect in there. Oh well. Well, maybe we go. I think it's just right around the corner. That area where I missed the bear. Point blank with the flare pistol. And everyone laughed at me. I think that's just around his, this corner here. Uh, what do I have? 56. Yeah, I think that's it right here. Uh, I want it where I can see. Even if it's not maybe the best position for a wind block. Um, okay. Let's go. Come on, little fire. We'll have to use some coal so we can warm up. And I'll also drop oh, lucky day. the meat. I'll draw I'll eat that one piece. Actually, you know what? I'll eat that piece, too. There we go. And while we're warming up, let's do this. I, I'm kind of torn because I kind of want to have the meat in my backpack. So that, I mean, we can see if the bear does show up. Dropping it, I don't think we'll see him. Um, actually. Okay, we do have a birch bark, so let's make another one. Making mushrooms. Take that. All right, let's go. What's the time? It's just after midday.
Maybe I was just hearing the fire crackling. I thought I heard foot. Oh, wait. Hey, that's a bear. Well, let's uh, go sit by our fire. If we sit by our fire and we crouch, we might be able to get a long shot on them. How much water do we have? We, I think we have enough. Just drink a little bit. Oh, we only have one bar of scent now. Oh well, it's enough that it's bringing him here. I don't want to go down there and have him see me. I want to make sure that we stay crouched. How far away from this fire can I go before I start losing? Right there, I guess. Um, let's get another fire my hope is that if i do get a shot and he comes Come running fire. maybe the fires will protect me because i'm not sure that i can get the flare pistol out quick enough perfect Okay. He ran. That was a sh that was a hit though. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, that is that bear eight. Yes. All right, put you away. Yeah, I don't know if this actually would have protected us, but I felt better with two of them. Hey, Mr. Bear. Oh, boo, did you see that? His tracks. His tracks disappeared. Oh well, I've always said I don't mind it if it's like snowing and the tracks disappear and it is snowing so I don't really I'm not angered or anything by that. It's when they disappear like that and it's like nice and sunny out clear skies. That sucks. Oh, there's a cave over here. Oh, okay. He's somewhere that way. Uh, what do we have? Like eight? Yes, we do. See if we can catch a glimpse of him. You just hope he went down or that he goes down in a good spot. He doesn't pick a wide open area. I, I missed the cave is over here. I 
I'm keeping this bow out just in case. Smoker's cave. All right, we got lots more coal. Getting close. Getting close to night time. Uh, he's down. Bear eight is down. question is where we did see a track right there so he's that way somewhere hopefully we find them before the weather turns I don't think I'm gonna harvest any of them at right now I'm gonna wait probably till morning oh we got the tracks here I guess those ones must have uh, disappeared just because they were so far back from where he was. That's all right. Uh, the one problem is I don't know... Minus 13. It's not terribly cold, but it's snowing, so I don't know if we're going to have crows. I thought I faintly heard crows, but I don't think I did. I think my brain just heard me say crows and said, hey, we know what that sound is and played it in my head. <laughs> well, we can go in here and spend the night. Uh, okay, there's a rose hip climb there, so he can't go any further this way. We still have a lot of warmth. You're not on headphones so you don't hear as clearly as I do? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I can hear things, but then sometimes I'm just hearing things, right? If that makes any sense. Your puppies don't like you to use them? Oh, really? Do they growl at you when you put them on? <laughs> oh, there's two more mushrooms. Let's take these. We do have crows. I don't know if those were what I was hearing or if those are just... I think it's right up there, just flying overhead. Yeah. But still, there's crows. Hey, doe. Help me out. They stare perplexed. <laughs> Have you ever tried putting the headphones on them? Just so they could hear? I'm, I don't know if he came down here, but I'm going to go down here. Uh, I believe if we go that way, it takes us back to the uh, original rose hip climb that we came down. Or, sorry, that we climbed up. Oh, look at that. It cleared up. 
Um, now I'm just wondering, are we going to get an Aurora? Uh, minus 13 on the wind still. My, my little Ruby sometimes, like, even the cats, you play a video on your phone and they look at it and they're like, what? <laughs> they're just confused. Alright, I do not think he came this way. But I also really don't have a clue where he may have went. They really don't like the cougar sound, they bark. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's funny. Sometimes if, I, if we're doing something and we happen to bang on something, like a wall or something like that, Ruby will run to the door barking. Like, no, over here. I did that. Well, let's go back this way. Actually, let's... F yeah, uh... I think this does connect with, uh, If there's two mushrooms, I'll take those two. Ah, uh, there's three. Let's leave them. If this does in fact connect with uh, that original area. Oh, this is where we were. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to continue going forward and I'm going to go to the left. I don't remember. I don't even remember if I ever knew where this bear's cave was. Oh, hey. Is that him right there? On the hill. That be him right there. Um, I'm hoping right by, right by, right above the the tree. I hope we can get a fire right there. Can I have my arrow? I'm not going to harvest, but I do just want to... Okay, we can get one right there. Um, I'm just going to make a, a one stick fire. My reason is I think this is close enough that I can not freeze while I am harvesting him. And I don't have to try to find this spot again. 29% frozen. Eh. Okay. Let's hold off. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, you know what? Let's take the hide in the guts. Please be close enough. We are close enough. Yeah, let's get the hide in the guts. That way we can, uh, oh, I don't like the pink. That way we can get these things starting to cure.
That might not be a terrible spot. The fire looks to be a little this way of the hill. Maybe it'll get help it with a, a wind block. I don't know. But we're going to go into this mine entrance uh, because we never checked this upper area. Not too far either. Look at that. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Nice and close. All right. Uh, let's put our bedroll right here. And we'll just drop. I'm just going to drop everything right in one pile. Uh, we're not obviously going to be leaving it here. So no point in spreading it all out. You get even more coal. And a tinder plug. Thanks. I think I can use this. I'm going to take that and break it down. Oh, look at you. And then that's the climb right there. Here, you can hover. <laughs> Alright, that's not bad. Uh, wrong button. do we can't repair anything I guess we can just craft these spike Astrid's coffee <laughs> hey roller welcome in how you doing roller wants coffee time okay uh whoops I can't do this just give me a second Sims on a 20 stream streak. Look at you. Oh, don't pick that up yet. Nice. Uh, let's do that. We might make water while we're harvesting the bear. Uh, but for the time being, let's just pass time. We have an Aurora right now. And now we don't. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think we're gonna... Can we get it an hour? Yeah. Let's do that and then we'll go out and get that bear. Hopefully it's nice weather. And... Oh, I have to, uh, I wanted to harvest you. Um. Okay, I have a question. Where's my sled? Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Where did I leave my sled? There's nothing in the transition for the airfield. It's possible Scruffy took it. Um. 
You know what? I'm going to continue on this way. Why don't I have my sled? I don't remember leaving it behind. I know it was in rough shape. But I don't recall leaving it. The only place it would be is uh, at the, the little camp. And this way is a lot quicker than going around the way we just came from. So we'll go this way. Yeah, no point harvesting a bear when we don't have the sled. Unfortunately, it's not exactly close this way. It's just closer. Uh, what is it? Minus 21 on the... That's what it feels like. Now, are we going to get more wolves when we get up by the, uh, the helicopter? Or did we deal with them technically? Already. Is there a, I don't remember, is there a moose on this map? Did I say if I anyone knows? I don't remember there deal. being one. I think the bear and the odd deer was kind of your source of food. I'm just going to push through. Uh, we'll stop at the buildings. And warm up there. Oh, I remember up here there was a couple of pieces of birch bark. That'll make me happy. One of them being on the side of the hill. Just a little too high up. Is that it right there? Oh, we got three. That's perfect. Nice. Now we don't have... Oh, wow. How rude. Back to having an odd number. Whatever. Still. We needed birch bark. We got birch bark. Uh, is there any caves or anything? What's down there? Is that. I think that's just a passageway. Through the rocks. I don't believe that's actually a cave. Although it kind of looks like it might be, but it, I don't think it is. Two bars of scent. Two bars of scent and oh, that's actually all, oh, okay. I, I checked when I had a wind block. That's why it's only minus two on the wind. All right, just in case. I honestly don't remember if there was a cave down here or not.
I'm not expecting wolves because of how many we dealt with when we came here not long ago. But you never know. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is a cave over there. And we're not going to go over there. We're just going to keep going and we'll get inside one of these buildings. Warm up a bit. I didn't possibly leave it and not get it from uh, the locker, did I? I'm pretty sure I stored it when we were going through the mine. I stored it where my where my bow and stuff was. Come on, boy. Doink. You don't remember? That's fine, that's fine. Now, did that wolf have a buddy? Don't think so. Uh, let's just run. We can run, get inside a building real quick. Uh, we can sleep a couple hours and get that alertness back. I would like to go into that building. The rope building. But we can walk in this one just to stop the freeze. There we go. Look at all the holes in this building. I don't even actually understand how you can be gaining temperature. Yeah, we didn't miss anything in here. Sneezes. be in that building because there's not really a box there right there's there's that green box but I don't believe I stuck anything in there drop any of this, gear. this one I do know that I stuck stuff in these lockers but I, I'm pretty sure I got them uh We're going back to the camp. We may as well grab some of these. And I think I'll just sleep for an hour. If Sam wants a stretch, all right. Let me get to walk in here. There we go. Thanks, XM. Somewhere out there, copper's stretching too. <laughs> When we get back to uh, 
the camp. I might take a, a couple minutes for a break. XM, thank you so much for the gift sub. That's number seven. Nice. Thank you. But yeah, when we get back to the camp, I might take a couple minutes for a break because uh, my coffee is extremely low. And semi-cold. You like your coffee crisp? So do I. I like the little ones, the Halloween coffee crisps. Because they're the perfect size to like bite the layers. <laughs> I always bite the top layer off. And then try to bite the, mid, uh, the bottom layer. And leave just the good middle. Oh, I love that middle part. They need to make cookies with that, that middle stuff. I don't know that there's a coffee flavored anything in the world. Well, I shouldn't say in the world because I haven't been all over the world. But I don't think there's a coffee flavored product out there that I don't like. I have the coffee flavored ice cream and I love it. The best coffee item that I've ever had, uh, I mentioned it yesterday, I think it was, uh, Purdy's Coffee Cream Chocolates. They taste better than coffee. Jesus, Those chocolates taste so much like coffee that coffee wishes it tasted like that. Like they, they make coffee look like it's the imposter. And it doesn't matter if you get the milk chocolate one or if you get the dark chocolate. I usually get a like a, a box of 16 and get eight of each. Because they're both incredible. Aha! Okay, well. We have the means to repair. Where? Let's change bows. Where that? Oh, I'm on A to Z, that's why. There it is. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be needing all of this coal. I'll take six. Um. Let's break this arrow down. <laughs> the only coffee you won't drink is the one that ex it excreted from the beetle. Hey, Sabus, welcome in. Coffee flavors Coke was nasty. <laughs> coffee, yeah. Are you sure it was? Do you love coffee enough? All right, let's, uh, we need you. That's unfortunate. You're only 53. All right. Well, hey, actually that went to 94. That's way further than I thought it would go. Um, XM, can you do me a favor? And uh, give Sabus a shout out, please. Let's do these. And wow, I have fifty one sticks. I just kept grabbing them thinking, you know what, when we harvest the bear, we're going to need a longer fire, but 
we only need like one piece of coal on it, but I didn't realize I had that many sticks. Uh, I don't need the books. I brought the books specifically to bring here. Uh, I'll just throw them right here. Thanks, XM. Uh, did I have, I do have sticks. Oh, I'm going to take the log. That's what I'm going to do. It's two kilograms, but still. Right, what do we not need? Uh, I guess I don't need to boil water when I'm out there. I can just take some of that water. You're cured, but you're not. Let's do that. Do I have... I do have... There it is. Wow, that maple is hard to see on here. That's why I have it kind of... I had it kind of going against the grain to make it easier, but... It's still not super easy. We'll do that. Oh, it's bear hide. You can go right here. You were playing some of the games you get free with Prime. Midnight Fight Express. Nice. Sometimes those free games can be pretty awesome and make you wonder why, why exactly was this game free? Uh, what game was it? I had a, uh, a car game. I don't remember what it was called. Wreckfest. That's what it was. Wreckfest. I, I got that when it was free. On Steam one time. Never played it. And then one day I, f I finally played it and I'm like, oh wow, this game is awesome. Moonlighter is really good. Nice. I'll have a look at it later. All right, I'm going to do that. And what time is it? It's midday. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. Hey, look at Murd. Murd's back. <laughs> Murd, we just repaired the sled that I forgot to take with us. And it went to 94 on one repair. Uh, Yeah, and I'm going to take the fire log. Um, I'll find a stick. Look at all my stuff. None of it. Well, except for the books that have been read. Oh, man. There's shelves over here, too. Well, let's take that. 253. That's, that's more than enough. Uh, yeah, let's go. We're going to go this way. We are going to collect ourselves a bear. We already got the hide and the guts and then I noticed that I didn't have my sled. <laughs> Oops. We'll go back there. Uh, we might have enough time to harvest it today. I hope. Yeah, do you have a word of the day, Murd? Today's word of the day is denigrate. What does denigrate mean? Means to belittle or attack maliciously. Oh. 
I'm trying to think of a sentence to use that that word in. You don't want to see me in the morning, but once I get my coffee, then I great. <laughs> I know I'm an idiot. So we're going this way, Murd, because I think it's quicker to get to the bear this way than it is to go back around the other way. No, we don't. Yes, run. We have lots of alertness, so I guess we can handle the run. There's the opening over there. Nifo must not denigrate Astra. That's a very appropriate sentence. <laughs> Can I denigrate the wolves? Consider yourself denigrated. Alright. Now to find my way back. Oh wow, there's still... Oh, you're over there. way let's put you away Mur, do you remember if there's a moose in this region I don't think there is is there no moose in the zone of contaminated could you imagine a poisoned moose it would be a sad sight but also very scary. Yeah, this this walk is a little bit farther than I would like it to be, but it's not terribly far. It's it's actually just a little past the uh, the mine entrance. On the back side. By chance, did any more birch bark fall? Don't look like it. hear the crows I shouldn't get lost on my way there even though our visibility isn't that great just kind of 
follow this. Uh, we should get to the rosehip climb. Jump down. Go past the, the mine entrance and then kind of hang a right. Those are just flying overhead. Oh. Now the thing is, uh, hauling this bear meat back to the camp, which way do you think is easier? Because the sled is not going to go either way. Is it easier this way? There's at least two spots that way that we will not be able to use it. And there's only one spot this way, but there's more gas, I believe. The miner's footpath. I believe that's the bear right there. I'm gonna check if I can get a fire closer. I mean, there, this part here looks like it's not too bad. Oh, it's not. Good, good, good. Come on, little fire. You left bear meat all over the place in zone of contamination. Too annoying to take it all back to idle cabins. Yeah. It can be a problem. Okay, we want that, and I want that fire log on there. Um, I want to deploy you. Climb around to your other side. And I don't know. I, I can't remember if it makes more sense uh, to use the pots on this or not. Just want this meat far enough away. You know what? Pick you up and drop you again. There we go. Take two and uh, get that cooking, then we'll take five at a time. We're 46 minutes. Go five. I kind of like the way that was uh, working there. All the bear meat on the top row. That's perfect. Don't have to switch tabs to find it. Gotta watch the time because I can get lost where I'm at. I think if I just walk down the hill, I'm kind of walking in the direction of that, that mine. Mm. 
We got 20 minutes. Uh, the point eight, I'm gonna leave. I'm not. I'm just gonna take the full kilograms and leave that point eight so that the the carcass stays. that I want to get up here more uh, I'll take six this time that way we just have to harvest one more and then we can go oh. we got 17 minutes um, let's just take that won't burn, so maybe I watch. I'll go to pick up the sled, and it'll say you cannot move. <laughs> All right, what's our weight? Twenty nine seventy nine. Oh, hey. Give me those. Uh, eat one of you. We'll throw the other one in the sled. There we go. I think we'll go, we'll end up going this way. I don't know. Um, I dropped that. We're at 29. That puts us about 64. 65, actually. Got to count the weight of the sled. I missed a pie. Are you sure? Oh, I did. Thanks, Mary. Oops. I was just trying to warm it up, that's all. What are you smacking your lips for? Uh, I think this is the way it's just around here. Uh, I don't think this will be too bad. We've walked with 60 kilograms before, right? So you factor in the, the amount of food that we're going to eat and water. Um, when we wake up in the morning. Is it gonna? Oh, I was kind of wondering. Like, is it gonna let me just take the meat? Walk with this much gear. Oh, come on! Here, yeah, put you away. I have to go get my sled. too close I hope they do something about this because in real life I would never encounter this but I would just pick it up oh no please I just repaired it oh wait ah oh, there we go <laughs> that Oh boy. 
I did not want to have to leave that. What's wrong with you, light? Oh, that was... That was not fun. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, we're at 64 right now. Well, 65 actually because of the bedroll. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. And then take another kilogram for what we eat in the morning. And a carry pie as well. I think we'll be actually all right. I don't think this is going to be as bad as it could be. How often do we take the sled into a mine in real life? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's just keep eating you. Yeah, this is going to turn out to be no problem at all. Snow, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Uh, you drink your pee too, so shut up. Let's go, let's go three hours. <laughs> you would seriously like to reload your slave for an instance like that? All right, we got daylight. Uh, I'm just going to go outside and have a peek. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to eat one of you. And... Drink. And go. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. I may not put the sled down just because I don't know how it's going to work in this little area. And then, I mean, we got the rose hip climb just over here anyways. But we'll throw it down right after the rose hip climb, throw all the meat in there. And we should be good. Where's Darth? Come on, Darth. Hey, hey. Eat it. What did it just try to make me eat? Oh, okay. That is new, is that not? Have we always had that warning? If you were about to eat raw meat? My mouse double clicked. We're back to that game. <laughs> But I'm happy that it didn't just auto eat it. I don't remember having that warning before because like, remember when I ate the, uh, what, 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 what was it? The wolf meat and I got parasites. Oh, if you eat from the wheel, then yes, you will get that. But from the inventory, you just eat it. They should change that. So that you always get that warning first. Because I don't think I've ever seen it. And I thought, oh, wait, look at what they did. This is an amazing idea. But it should be consistent amongst both methods. Because honestly, sometimes the meat... I mean, obviously they don't look the same, but some, you have various different meats in there and some of them kind of look like they're already cooked and some of them don't. I don't really like the, the, the way the meat looks. There's other games where the meat is much more red. It's a lot easier to tell, but 
uh even just in the instance right there i mean i mean the game can't babysit us right i mean if if you have a mouse like mine where it decides hey it's saturday i'm gonna double click today that's not on them that's on me for not smashing it against the wall but i am very happy that that notification came up and I'm a little bit at ease too. Wait, oh, I was gonna put the sled down. Cold. I'm warming up a bit. Too busy yakking about my my great mouse. Uh, uh I can't. Oh no, it's all nine percent. I'm not putting it in there. That's why I brought two pies. We got unburdened for a while. All things considered, we're not walking that slow. That's not bad. We've walked slower than this. Too much to ask for one piece of birch bark. Just one. That's why you like moving fish, even if it's ruined, it can still go in the sud safely. Very true, very true. We, I still want to test it for myself and just see. Like, will it actually disappear? If it's already in there, will it disappear when it hits zero or will it stay? I still say it'll disappear if you place it in when it's ruined, but I don't think it'll disappear if it's already in there and goes to ruined. And every time I try to try to test it for myself, something goes wrong but I'm willing to sacrifice one piece of bear meat if we can get to the the refrigerator and throw it in there before it hits zero I I I just think that it would be so bad to have food like you know what if somebody's playing and they don't know and they stick all their food in the fridge because they think you know that's where your person would throw it and they go out on some long journey and they come back and all their their fridge is empty i think that would be a stupid gameplay mechanic but i've heard people say that it will disappear when it hits zero and i've personally believe that that is not true I believe it'll disappear if you throw it in when it's already ruined but not when it ruins inside so I am anxious to actually try to test that yeah that would be pretty harsh if you were if you were a new player and something like that happened you might not come back you might think wow this game is stupid my personal thought was would be that it wasn't the container that did it it's just like oh it ruined so it's gone right I do still think that rock caches are the easiest, simplest fix for any of that. Anything in a rock cache will not despawn. <laughs> B 
Babbage's cash on demand. <laughs> Is he still playing roll with it? That's a that's a hard mode. I haven't checked in on him for a while. Cause usually when he's on I'm not down at my computer anymore. You know what? This will only help. I should have actually had a peek. Um, yeah, we're still at max capacity. That's his you know nothing challenge. Nice. That sounds like a very frustrating way to play though. Setting up a whole bunch of uh, random codes, not remembering what they do so you can find out by playing one later. Somehow I feel if I if I was to do something like that, number one, I'd probably die a lot. But I think the second most popular thing to happen in that type of game for me is you would hear the word damn it an awful lot. <laughs> You could have no auroras, extra wolves, guns only sort of deal. Yeah. That would be very interesting. I I personally won't ever play like, like that way, but I obviously will watch other people. <laughs> Watched him many, 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 many hours playing that roll with it challenge. Uh, just thinking to myself, nope. <laughs> it's not for me, but I will use my eyes to view you. Well, it looks like we aren't going to go all the way today. Let's uh, kind of do what we did last time. We'll just go into this. Holy building here that magically is still warm. Blink. <laughs> All right, I am not dropping anything. Um, I I would like to warm up. I'm pretty sure wolves can't actually come in here. See where the building I'm going to is. Is that it right there? That's not it. Is it? Eh? I guess it is. All right. Uh, we got a long time before the chemical 
sets in. Get inside. Oh, that's not a door. <laughs> It looked like a door. I was thinking as I was approaching it, I have no idea where this is going to put me when I get inside. I guess that's why, because it doesn't take you inside. Alright, this will let us in. I can barely walk with this there we go. Here. All right, I'm going to go back to the little area where I slept before. Uh, these are safe wires. We don't have to worry about them. These are all empty, so that's all good. Um, eat and drink again. piece of leather hey, hey there we go uh, we have lots of food it ain't cooked yet but we still have lots hatchet said a hundred can't do nothing there we don't have cloth to repair is there any cloth in here by chance Oh, there is cloth. Look at that. There we go. We can repair the bedroll now. There we go. And now... We still have three pieces of cloth. I don't think I actually need cloth, right? But, uh, like, I think there's a bunch at the, at the camp, but... When that happens, I seriously, I cannot push my button down hard enough. <laughs> there's another piece. Still sounds bad outside, so. And it still sounds bad. Alright, I don't think there's gonna be any more cloth. Come on, quit doing that. Uh, let's just have a peek under the stairs. Nothing. We got all these crates we can break down, but I, honestly, I don't really want to. We have uh, a whole bunch of reclaimed wood already. That's the time. Oh, there's cloth like right here. anymore well, we got a workbench but I don't have any of my uh, materials why do they have two workbenches in the same spot this I believe is an official workbench as well oh well What's it matter? What's the difference if they put this in that place or they just put another workbench? Doesn't really matter, right? All 
Alright, yeah, that still sounds like a blizzard, but I'm going to have a look. Oh. What was that next to the lockers to the left? Was it a newspaper or something else? Uh, which lockers? These ones? Hey, copper. Welcome in. Okay, it can't be those ones because there's nothing to it. Let's actually have a better look in the sink. Um, oh, those lockers? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, what do you call it? A, a news roll that I stuffed in there. That's what that is. On one of those days when we were walking through here. Oh, great. I need water. Uh, oh, did it just go away? I'm not going to eat the pie until we find out. It's getting too heavy to carry. Yeah, we can't. Can't go out there, but I guess we have a whole bunch of cloth now. 13 pieces, Murd. I guess we're just going to repair stuff. Are we actually going to end up spending the night here? All right, it's over. Let's go. Uh, eat that pie. Ooh, that's the perfect amount. Look at that. And we don't have any water, but we're drinking. <laughs> we're licking the inside of the bottle. Did I have anything else that I can drink? I don't want to use I'm a tea. Not able to carry this load for much longer. Ah, what the hell? We'll use a coffee. We got a bunch. The only reason I did that was because we were no longer at 48 capacity, so... Let's go. Let's take our three cent bars and... Head back. for arrows we have 21 still we have a whole bunch of arrowheads but we don't have any arrow shafts and are we are we doing sundered pass in this clothing or are we using bear coats Cause I'm a little bit torn on one hand I would mind I would like to just go there like from the zone of contamination on the other hand I would like to have bear coats but I just don't want to do that lengthy walk oh 
on top of that, I don't even know where I have bear hides. Either bear coats or lots of birch bark or both personally. Yeah. Um, well, we have eight bears down. We have one bear hide here. We have probably one or two at the airfield. So we might not have to go too terribly far to to make some. Yeah, there's two it takes two bear hides to make a coat. Uh, we ha we do have one here, but we just got this bear, so it's going to take a while. Yeah, so we can get at least one bear coat, but we still don't really have, uh, like what we have three plus we have the two cups. That's not a lot. Uh, we're going to be dealing with timber wolves. I think we might have to go back um, to Pleasant Valley and have a peek at what do we have there. I think we would first go to the airfield, um, get the bear hides from there. And we have plenty of guts here already. But I think we would go to the airfield, get the guts or sorry, get the, the hides from there and bring them out here. Or even just leave them at the hub for now. And go back to Pleasant Valley because we also... I mean, we have a sport bow. I could use that against Timberwolves. We don't really need a bow, but we need arrow shafts as well. You think as much as it'll take time and be annoying for you, the better play is to go back to Pleasant Valley and restock. I think we might have to, unfortunately. Um, the, the beauty of it is, I mean, it's not like I have to take all of this stuff there like I used to. Oh my God, come on. You know, all of this stuff is staying here. It, it, well, you know, the coffee and tea isn't. This will come with me and that will come with me. Oh, and that will come with me and those because <laughs> we'll have to leave a pair of boots behind these canisters i think i'm just gonna leave them i don't care uh you're 80 you're a long ways away you're 45 i mean those will be cured tomorrow i guess i don't know But let's do that. Uh, where's a good wide open space for this meat that I'm not going to miss it? Um, actually, you know what? Let's go throw it on the... Let's go throw it on the stove. Oh, one of them was following us. Let's do this. Uh, there we go. And the, the other thing too is if we, if we go to Pleasant Valley, it's not like we're going to go there, grab stuff and come directly back. We may as well go explore some other stuff. But I do think we need to get bear coats. When it comes to toxic wolves, there's always one more. Ah, oh, dang it. Um... Uh... Oh no, I put all this right where I want the meat to go. And there's like 700 sticks here. I don't want to drop the meat and have it go on inside the sticks. I'm going to have to move these. I might move them outside of the room. 
Let's just make sure I can still move. There's a lot of sticks here. I'm not even lying. <laughs> 69 sticks, man. There's six pieces. All right, 57 minutes. Oh, you better not go out. There we go. Oh, that was way too close. I think I'll just drop it right here. I don't think there's anything here that I'm going to interfere with. No, that's pretty open. Um, I guess I can leave all the rest of the meat here too. what we can do let's throw it in here one piece that's at two percent those are cooked don't put the cooked ones down fool uh, let's move these over here a little bit Maybe we can have it nice. There we go. And you know what? Let's throw the sardines down here. How much coal did we have? We have five. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Billy Wilson. Welcome in. Merd's purring. do that and we'll drink up I think I'm gonna end this here uh, we'll pray we'll wake up in the middle of the night but that's okay uh, so for those of you on YouTube if you like what you saw please like and subscribe and I will see you out tomorrow